This conference will now be recorded. Good morning to all of you. Today we are going to discuss a basic subject, probability theory and stochastic process, which is a basic subject in electronics and communication engineering. Not only for electronics and communication engineering, it is also a basic subject for computer science engineering. And there is a lot of application of probability theory in case of engineering. And where we find this probability theory in engineering that we'll see in real time where we come across the concept of probability. First, when you see in your daily life, you come across the words like probably, likely, maybe, chance, and hope, etc. All these are synonyms to probability. That means we, we come across these words frequently in our daily routine life. We'll see all these things. And another place where we see the concept of probability is meteorological department, where we use it for predicting the weather conditions, whether it is going to rain or whether it is sunny, whether it is cool. These things can be analyzed by collecting the data from the previous days. And from those data, we can say that there is a probability of getting rain or there is a probability of sun, complete sun today. And when we look into the weather cases, when we are planning an outdoor activity, like people generally check the probability of rain or whether it is sun. If there is a possible probability of rain, then they stop farming. If there is no probability of if there is a probability of rain, then they start farming. Meteorologists also predict the weather based on the patterns of the previous year, that temperatures and the normal disasters are also predicted on probability. And nothing is ever stated as a surety, but the possibility and an approximation. <clears throat> that is probability is an possibility or an approximation. We cannot exactly give that weather you are going whether it is going to rain or it is not going to rain and similarly in sports also we come across the concept of probability that is when we go for tossing a coin I mean, so when we go for starting a game we toss a coin where there is a possibility of getting two things one is head or tail and each team has a probability of getting the chance to be Half, that is 50, 50 chances of winning it. It may be a basketball game or a football game or a cricket or any game. There will, they will toss a coin. Clear. And in the similar way, the probability is used in, in the game also. That is when a basketball player takes a free throw, judging his past performance, it can be determined if he will make it or not. That means depending upon his past experiences of free throw, that is making a goal when we when they have got a free throw he will be given a chance if he has got maximum goals thrown when a free throw has come then he will be given a chance to hit a goal right and similarly when you go for board games that is you have got a, a game spinner with four sections there is a 25 percent of chance of it landing res yes since one of the four sections is red since one of the four sections is red, similarly the similarly the odds of rolling one die and getting an even number, there is a possibility of 50% chance since three of the six numbers on the die are even. That means there is a probability of getting an even number or odd number equally. That is when we throw a die, we'll have six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and six. In that you have got three odd numbers and three odd numbers, three even numbers. So the probability of getting an odd number or the probability of getting an even number will be same, 50%, right? And similarly, you have got an application where you can have life expect expectancy. That is, this is based on the number of years the same group of people have lived in the past. That means based on the data that you have, they'll be giving the age, I mean, say, age relax, age of, of retirement. That means different countries has got different retirement ages. 
based on the previous data of a group of people lived based on that the retirement age will be calculated and given you can see the statistics of different countries where the retirement ages are different and one more broad area where this subject is basic is communications in case of communications we use probability to calculate whether the system design is going to work properly or not and and one more case is what is the amount of probability i mean so what is the probability that a noise is going to enter into a channel when we transmit some data from a sender to a receiver this also can be calculated using probability and similarly one more area where the probability is a basic subject is a data science in case of data science lot of probability is involved and this data science is an booming area right now where this is going to last for more 20 years that is the reason why government has decided to give an btech degree in data science and one more area where government i mean say government is decided to give degree in engineering is artificial intelligence and machine learning in that areas also we use a lot of probability concepts this is one more area where we use this probability theory as a basic subject for these groups next when you go for the course objectives of this particular subject we give concentration on basic understanding of random signals and processing what are the signals we use in communications and how they are going to get processed that we are going to understand and utilization of random signals and systems in communications and signal processing areas and one more course objective what you have is spectral known to know the spectral and temporal characteristics of the random process and at the end we learn the basic concepts of noise sources that is how many types of noises are there and what are the sources of that particular noise and how they are going to affect your communication channel these things can be analyzed in case of your fifth unit that is how they are going to affect your channel and upon completion of this course a student will be able to that means you will be able to understand the concept of random process and characteristics when a experiment is done how it is going to perform that can be analyzed and you can see that you can learn the characteristic of that and at the end you'll understand the response of linear time invariant systems for a random process that means how a system is going to vary with respect to time and how the system is responding for a given inputs that can be analyzed from your this random process concepts and the determination of spectral and temporal characteristics of the random signals will be done and at the end we'll go with the concepts of noise in communication systems what is the effect of noise in case of communication systems that we'll going we'll be analyzing and when we will move into the contents of your subjects as a first unit you have got basic probability and a single random variable that means basic probability concepts you are going to see and how a single random variable definitions of single random variable properties of single random variable that we are going to see and when you enter into unit 2 what are the operations that can be performed on a random variable that is a single random variable that we are going to see and we'll see multiple random variable cases also in that particular subject and when we enter into your third subjects random process we'll see temporal characteristics and the similarly in fourth unit we'll see random process spectral characteristics and in fifth unit we come across noise sources and information theory and when we enter into in detail about the subjects probability and random variables unit first unit is going to have probability introduced through sets and relative frequency that means a basic knowledge of set theory is important for analyzing your probability that means understanding your probability the concepts of sets we'll see initially and then we'll enter into your probability in that we'll see experiments and sample spaces discrete and continuous sample spaces events probability definitions and axioms and next we'll move to 
joint probability, conditional probability, and total probability. Then we'll see a important theorem involving all these above concepts is an base theorem, which is important. This theorem we'll see, and then we'll go with the concept of independent events. If the two events are independent, that means you are performing two experiments which are independent. What are the what are the parameters you are going to look into that independent? If they are two different events, then what will be the total probability that we are going to see? And next, we'll move to a concept of random variable in that basic definition of a random variable and the conditions for the function to be a random variable. If you are defining a function, then in order that to be a random variable, what are the conditions you need to see? What are the conditions it has to meet to be a random variable that we'll see? And then we'll go with a different types of random variables. And this with these random variables, we define two functions. One is distribution function and density function. And what are the properties of these things that we'll see later on? We'll go with a few examples of these distribution and density functions. One is binomial, Poisson, uniform, Gaussian, exponential, and rely. These are the basic distribution functions. What are there in your syllabus with this i'll explain few more distribution and density functions which are important for your data science and artificial intelligence then we go with methods of defining conditional event conditional distribution conditional density and their properties conditional distribution conditional density and their properties and next when you move into second unit we'll see operations on single and multiple random variables expectations in this we'll find the mean median mean variance skew curtises these are the parameters which we see with respect to your random variable these are the important parameters which explains the concept of random variable and next we'll go with the concept of chebashu inequality which is important for data science and artificial intelligence based on this we'll calculate the prob data science numericals lot and then characteristic function moment generating function characteristic function and moment generating function are used to have all the properties what we see here mean variance standard deviation skew curtises all these things come in one function that can be explained in case of characteristic function moment generating function then we'll go with transformation of a random variable transformation of a random variable in that we'll see monotonic and non-monotonic transformation of continuous as well as discrete random variables then we move to vector random variables that is two or more multiple random variables and joint probe density distribution function and density function and its properties marginal distribution function and next we'll go with conditional distribution and density for point conditioning and interval conditioning what are these two things we'll see in detail when we enter into the subject Next, statistical independence, sum of two random variables. If two random variables are there, if sum them, then what are the modifications we are going to do for that? We'll see, and several random variables. Next, we'll go with a beautiful concept called central limit theorem, which is very important for this probability that we'll see. Then we enter into unequal distributions and equal distributions. Then expected value of a function of a random variable, that is expectation of a function of a random variable. Next joint moment about the origin joint central moments joint characteristic functions joint gaussian random variables these are your all multiple random variables what we have seen these things for a single random variable and then we are going to see with multiple random variables next two random variable case and n random variable case properties transformation of multiple random variables linear transformation of a gaussian random variable we will not concentrate on, concentrate on Gaussian random variable. And when we enter into your third unit, random process, temporal characteristics. In this, the random process concept, classification of process, that is types of process. And then we'll go with an status, stationarity and independence, distribution and density functions, concept of stationarity and statistical independence, first order stationary, process second order and wide sense stationary process nth order and strict sense stationary stationarity and next we'll go with time averages and ergodicity mean ergodic process correlation ergodic process 
these are the concepts what we see in your third unit with respect to the with this we'll see few more concepts of correlation functions and then gaussian random process poisson random process these are the examples of random process and random signal response of linear systems that means we are going to apply this random process concepts to linear systems for a linear system if you give an input a random signal what will be the output that we are going to analyze with these particular concepts similarly we'll go with the fourth unit where we see the concepts of random process spectral characteristics that is the power spectrum this spectral characteristics in the sense we'll see in frequency domain temporal characteristics in the sense we'll see in time domain and relation between power spectrum and autocorrelation function and then we'll go with the concept of cross power density spectrum properties and the relation between cross power spectrum and cross correlation function like spectral characteristics of a system response power density spectrum of response and then cross power density spectrums of input and output that is when we apply these density spectrums spectral characteristics to a linear system that analysis we'll see at the end then we'll enter into your noise sources and information theory which is a fifth unit in that half of the part contains noise sources and the remaining half contains information theory and what are the types of noises basic types of noises and the relations respect with respect to noise sources and what are the equations required to analyze your noise that part we are going to discuss in the first half and then we'll enter into your second part where we'll see information theory next the books which are required as per your jntu syllabus which are prescribed in your jntu syllabus are first we'll see textbooks and then we'll move to your reference books and i'll give few more books which i have referred that is first when we look into textbooks probability random variables and random signal principles it's payton z tables it's an tata mcgrail publication book it's a fourth edition you can have this particular book for first four units for first four units you come you can refer this particular textbook and for the last unit that is fifth unit you can go with principles of communication systems by tobin shilling this you can have. and with respect to this second textbooks you can go with another textbook called communication systems by sanjay sharma which is also a good book for this particular fifth unit right and according to your uh, syllabus according to your syllabus copy reference books what we follow are random process for engineers and probability random variables and stochastic process this is antonius populus and s unni krishna pillai this is one textbook which is excellent for probability according uh, in aspects of theoretical concepts that means not numerical concepts theoretical concepts that is you can have lot of analysis if you are interested really interested in probability you can refer to these particular textbooks which is very much interesting to learn probability next when we go with a third third reference book it is probability statistics and random process by murugeshan and guru swami will have lot of numericals in this and then signals systems and communications by bp lathi which is used for fifth unit similarly statistical theory of communications by yugen zevier this is also for fifth unit with respect to this you can go with two more books shams outlines probability random variables and a random process for numerical concepts beautiful number of i mean say you'll have n number of numerical problems solved in this particular textbook which are excellent and interesting to learn next when you go with the other textbook probability statistics and stochastic process by peter olfson this particular textbook is also interesting in the in concept wise you can learn a lot of concept from this particular textbook also it is not prescribed in your jntu syllabus but you can refer to this 